Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am doing a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers. It's called the TMI Mommy Tag. And I actually came up with this one myself. <laughs> I ran into the original TMI tag on YouTube and I watched a bunch of them. And I was like, why isn't there one of these for motherhood? So I contacted a bunch of other YouTubers and we all decided to do a collab together. But some people weren't comfortable with the 50 questions because it seemed long to them. So I compromised. So I'm doing two videos this week. Just to give you all like a peek into my vlogging schedule this week. Today's Monday, so today is TMI Mommy Tag Part 1. Because I have to break this up into two parts. Because my device does not have enough memory for me to record all 50. So today's Part 1. Tuesday's Part 2. Wednesday is a day in the life. I've always wanted to do one of these videos. And I'm a mommy of two little girls and I'm on bed rest. So I'm about to show you guys what my life is like. And Friday I am doing a mommy tag. There will be a playlist down below in the description bar so you guys can check everybody else out. So I'm doing 25 questions today and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and do number one. The first question is how many kids do you have? Uh, technically speaking I have three girls. Um, I haven't told you guys this yet because I'm still trying to work up the courage to tell my story. But I have a, another daughter who's older than Carly. Uh, she'll be five next month. There's a question in part two that will go into a little bit more detail, but I can't tell the whole story because it's really long. So I'll just summarize it really small right now. I had her in a really bad situation and I decided that what was best for her was for her to be adopted. I need to tell my story because it's a postpartum depression story. And it's actually very similar to the one that's been on Facebook about the mom who committed suicide because of postpartum depression. Her story, if you've read it, and my story are very, very, very similar. And I do need to tell it. I just need to get the courage and tell it. I'm just really scared. It was hands down the hardest, darkest time of my life. It's just a really hard story for me to tell. And I don't talk about it in my current pregnancy vlogs because it was the hardest, darkest time of my life. And it's really hard reliving all of that when I'm talking about a current pregnancy that me and my husband are happy and excited and joyful about. And that's the only reason why I just don't talk about it. I do eventually plan on telling my story though, so just watch for it. Question number two is, how old are they right now? Carly is two and McKinley is one. And I'm currently pregnant with number three. And I'm due February 25th of 2017. But I doubt I'll make it that far. <laughs> Question number three, were they planned or unplanned? Carly and McKinley were most definitely planned, <laughs> like without a doubt. This baby is our first oops baby. With this baby, we had a birth control mishap and well, but it's really okay because we're just as happy and excited as if it would have been planned anyway, so it's okay. Question four, how old were you when you got pregnant with your kids? With Carly, I was 22. With McKinley, I was 23. And with this baby, I was technically 24, but I was seriously like a couple of weeks from turning 25. <laughs> Question number five, have you ever struggled with infertility? No, thankfully, I'm very thankful for that. Actually, I seem to have the opposite problem. I'm like really fertile. If I could give my fertility to another woman to help her get pregnant, I certainly would, because I am I'm very fertile. Question number six, tell me where and how you found out you're pregnant with your kids. Carly, it was October 25th, 2013. I will never forget any of these so long as I live. Uh, with Carly, we were trying, like actively trying. And I didn't check my fertile days, but I did look up on the internet when to take a pregnancy test. And it told me to take it on October 25th. Well, I tried to cheat and take it two days earlier because I was so excited to be pregnant. And it was obviously negative. So, so on the 25th, I woke up at like... 5 a.m. so that Devin could be there whenever I took the test because he had to go to work and I couldn't even look at it. I was just like, you're going to have to look at it, Devin. So uh, he walked into the bathroom and he looked at it and he's the one who told me that was positive and it was, it was a really happy day. With McKinley, it was the day after Christmas 2014. After we had Carly, I had messed up my birth control and I started the pill. And I'm really bad at remembering pills, apparently, because I messed up my period. And October and November, I didn't have a period at all. So I called my OB, and I was like, um, I'm not having a period. And she's like, okay, come in. So I did. And she gave me some progesterone pills that were supposed to start my period. Uh, which is what Devin and I wanted anyway, because we were about to start trying again. So I started taking the pills on December 5th, and apparently two days later, I ovulated. But um, the day after Christmas, I woke up and I just had this feeling that I was pregnant 
And then I looked at the calendar and I was like, wait a minute, I should have had a period by now. So I nudged Devin and I was like, hey, I need you to go get me a pregnancy test. So he got me one of those cheap 88 cent ones from Walmart <laughs> and he gave it to me and I held my pee the whole time he was gone. So I went to the bathroom, I took the pregnancy test, convinced it was going to be negative and that was the fastest positive I've ever had. <laughs> It immediately came up positive. It was like, boom! So uh, I called up Devin and he was so excited. He gave me a big hug. He was so excited. And with this baby, I took the pregnancy test the day before Father's Day and didn't tell Devin until Father's Day. And I actually videoed that. I will have it in the description bar if you guys want to watch that. Uh, but I promise he was more excited. Devin is just really camera shy, like really camera shy. It makes him awkward and uncomfortable in front of the camera, but he took the video for me. After it was done recording, then he really got excited and he gave me a big hug. Devin's always excited when I'm pregnant though because Devin wants like five kids. Spoiler alert, we are not having five kids. So anytime I'm pregnant, Devin's like, yes, and I'm like, Question number seven, what was your husband slash partner's reaction? Oh crap, I already answered this. <laughs> Happy, excited, thrilled. I think I already answered that one. Question number eight, what were your first thoughts and feelings at upcoming motherhood? With Carly, I was excited, but I was really scared. Because I had struggled with postpartum depression really, really badly with my first, I was terrified of having a repeat. But I had Carly, I didn't have postpartum depression with her. So by the time we were pregnant with McKinley, I wasn't as scared. Uh, I was more scared of how am I going to juggle two kids 14 months apart. <laughs> more scared of that. And this baby, I'm not really scared at all. A little bit scared because of our problems with pregnancy, but overall, very happy. Question number nine, how did you tell your family? What were their reactions? We told everybody either on the phone or in person. It just depended if we could be there in person or not. And they were all really happy for us. They always have been. Question number 10, did you have an easy or hard pregnancy? Why? The girls were easy. Besides just your normal pregnancy symptoms, uh, the girls were pretty easy pregnancies. This pregnancy, not so much. <laughs> uh, I have a placenta abruption, so I have to be on bed rest. And it's not really easy being on bed rest with two other kids to take care of, and your husband works out of town. So that's not really easy. I would consider this a hard pregnancy, but it's the first hard pregnancy I've ever had. Question 11, weirdest craving you've ever had? Actually, I had my weirdest craving yesterday. <laughs> And it was Colby Jack cheese and a chocolate chip cookie. I know, I know. It's actually really good. I really liked it. Question number 12. What was the hardest part about being pregnant? With Carly, it was the horrible carpal tunnel I got in my hands. It was bad. Like, my hands would fall asleep when I was laying down. It would fall asleep if I bent them in a certain way. Oh my gosh, it was bad. I couldn't even, like, grip a um, gallon of milk to twist it open. Yeah, I couldn't even do that. It was really bad. Kenley, it was sciatic pain. Really awful bad sciatic pain. And this baby is having a placenta abruption and having to be on bed rest. Question number 13. Did you take any maternity or belly pics? Share them. Yes, I did. I took belly pics of all of my kids and I will show you them now. Question 14, did you do a nursery? What was the theme? Uh, with Carly, we tried to do a nursery. We tried to do like a Minnie Mouse nursery and a bunch of people got us a lot of Minnie Mouse stuff, but we didn't get to actually like complete a nursery or make it look all mini or anything like that. We just weren't able to. It wasn't a priority with the other priorities that we had at the time. Then when I got pregnant with McKinley, it still wasn't a priority. And now with this baby, well, I'm talking about that in my next pregnancy vlog, so you guys are just gonna have to wait for that. Question 15, how did you come up with your children's names? With Carly, I was on SSN.gov looking up a different name. I go to the website to look up popularities of names, and I was actually on there looking at a different name. And instead, I came across Carly, and I was like, ooh, I really like that. I like the way it was spelled and everything. I really like family names for middle names. I like that it's something that they all share, and it's kind of special between them. So, uh, Carly's middle name is Renee which is Devin's stepmom, his sister, and our niece's middle name. So they kind of all share that, and it's special for them. McKinley, I don't know how I came across McKinley. I really don't. Um, I think we were just looking at baby names. I'm not one of those women who've had their kids' names picked out since they were, like, 13. I, I just, I've never been one of those girls, so every time I've been pregnant, I've had to go look for a baby name. I think with McKinley, I was just looking for a name, and I really liked McKinley. 
And then her middle name, Joy, comes from my side of the family. It's my mom's middle name and my grandmother's first name. And this baby, we're still trying to figure it out, guys. <laughs> Question 16, what was the best part about being pregnant? Baby moves. I know that some women don't like fetal movement because it makes them sick or what have you, but I love it. I love feeling baby move. It's my favorite part. I love that special bond that you share between baby for a little bit. Question 17, did you have a baby shower? Tell me about it. With Carly, my mom threw me an impromptu surprise baby shower. Carly was born in June, and on July 4th, my mom threw me a baby shower. That was very surprised. I was not expecting it. I got a bunch of stuff, and we all hung out. It was really nice. And then we went and watched fireworks, so it was really nice. Uh, McKinley, I didn't get one because I got pregnant with her like six months after Carly was born. And with this baby, I guess it'll depend. I guess it'll depend if it's a boy or a girl. If it's a boy, I might. I don't know. If we're having another girl, we probably won't because we have a lot of girl stuff and there's no really need. But if we're having a boy, we're going to need a lot of stuff. So, um, I don't know. I might, I might not. Question 18. Did you ever feel prepared or ready to have your baby? As far as like items, baby items and diapers and all that stuff that you need, yeah, I, I felt pretty ready. I felt like we had everything. Question 19, any funny pregnancy stories? Uh, yes, but for the sake of Devin's privacy, I won't tell it because it, it's a really embarrassing story for him and he's begged me, please don't tell this story. So I won't tell it, but I do have a funny one. I just can't tell it. <laughs> Question 20, what kind of birth did you have? Vaginal or C-section? Vaginal with all of my kids. Question 21, where were you when you went into labor? Or if you had a C-section, when were you scheduled? With Carly, it was the night of June 16th. I went to the bathroom and I had a bunch of bloody show, like you do, but I didn't know what that was. I was like, oh my gosh, why am I bleeding so much? But I decided to wait and just watch it because baby was very active still, so I decided to just wait and watch it. But by noon, it was completely gone. But right before Devin went to work, we did the deed, and that's what set me into labor. I started having contractions and everything. I just didn't know that I was actually in labor. I thought it was Braxton Hicks, but I messaged my uh, sister-in-law on Facebook, and I was like, hey, uh, this is what's been going on for the past, like, almost 24 hours. And she was like, Kristen, I think you're in labor. And she's like, you need to go get checked out. And I'm like, no, I'll be fine. She's like, no, you need to go get checked out. So she came and got me, and she took me to the hospital, and they were like, yeah, honey, you're in labor. You're dilated to six and about 60% of face. And I was like, oh. <laughs> labor doesn't hurt for me until after you break my water. What well, after you break my water, then labor hurts. But if my water is still intact, labor does not hurt for me. So I didn't even know. I thought I was having Braxton Hicks. With McKinley, I had woken up the morning of the 10th with a bunch of bloody show. And I was like, oh, okay, this is it. And I was having contractions, but they weren't like regular on time or anything like that. So I went into the hospital and they're like, yeah, you're dilated to about a four or five, but your contractions aren't regular. So they kept me, they watched me. I slowly dilated from a four or five to a seven. And then I just stopped. My labor just stalled for quite a while. And my OB tried everything to get my contractions to get my body to go back into labor naturally, and it just wasn't having it. So with McKinley, I was induced the following morning, but I was already dilated to a seven, so uh, she didn't have to give me a whole bunch of pit. Question 22, did you have any pain relief during labor? I had an epidural with Carly, and I really regret it because no sooner than I got the epidural, I was pushing. So I really could have done without it. And with McKinley, because I was being induced and I hate Pitocin, Pitocin's awful. I just hate it. It makes contractions so much worse than what they naturally are. I asked for an epidural. And again, I regret it because it wore off at nine and a half centimeters and they wouldn't give me any more. So imagine this, You're, you can't feel your belly contract at all. I felt no contractions but I felt every single tiny bit of her coming out. It was awful. I couldn't tell when to push or when to bear down. I couldn't tell any of that. It was like I couldn't help my body, but I was trying to give birth to a baby. Like, hello, it was awful. It was like I couldn't help my body, but I was trying to give birth to a baby. Like, hello, it was awful. Question number 23, how long were you in labor? Or if you had a C-section, how were you feeling before you went into the OR? With Carly, I can't tell you exactly how long I was in labor because I didn't know that I was in labor until I got to the hospital. And I don't remember when my contractions started. So uh, 
So I just count from the time I was in mid to the time she was born, which was exactly six hours. With McKinley, once my labor actually got started and I started having regular contractions, about two hours and 40 minutes. Question 24, how did your husband slash partner handle the delivery room? Surprisingly well, Devin handled himself really well in the delivery room. And this is for a man who has a very queasy stomach and easily throws up. He did pretty good. And question 25, besides your husband slash partner, was anyone else with you? With Carly, I had my two sisters-in-law with me. And with McKinley, I only had one sister-in-law because they booted the other one out. Not because she was, you know, causing a ruckus or anything, but because they told us that their hospital policy was two people in the delivery room. When, when with Carly, they had three. So, uh, whoops. But it was just me and my husband and my sister-in-law. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there so that you can watch part two. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a mom. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. If you're subscribed to my channel, you know I love my subscribers and I love reading your comments. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.